Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be the haul portion of yesterday's video, yesterday's bins trip. And quickly before I get into showing you guys what I got yesterday at the bins, I did want to show you this from my last haul video. I ended up getting this Microsoft Surface Go working, so that's super exciting. Okay, and then right here, I will put a better picture of this gorgeous dress. I still, as of filming this video, have not done any research on the dress, so hopefully that's another thing I will be able to put here on the screen for you guys, but this dress is so pretty. And then it has this little, like, stick pin I saw on it. I don't think it's anything, but... Okay, so I got quite a few things yesterday at the bins, and... I would say this is a pretty good bins haul. So I'm going to show you guys uh, the bags and the pair of shoes that I got first. The shoes you might have seen at the very end of yesterday's video. So let's get into it. First, these Jimmy Choo's. They've definitely been worn, but they are not like beat up by any means. The bottoms are still pretty good. The heels are really good. Both heel caps are still on, so that's amazing. And they're size 40. Super cute. Next, I got this tiny little Kate Spade bag. How adorable. Are you kidding me? It kind of goes with what I have on. But it does have some color transfer on the back, but I don't really think that's that big of a deal. I just liked that it was a tiny little bag and it's a softy on the leather. Then I got this super cute coach bag. With the flower print, pebbled leather. The inside's pretty clean, which is great. And it's got a crossbody strap. I was really excited to find this, and I'm so happy that everybody else kind of just thought it was a plain old Disney bag. This is a Disney Lounge Fly collab. I have not looked this up, but I know these can be super expensive. Um, and it's got like cute little Disney snacks all over it. <laughs> So if I was going to Disney, I would totally wear this, but it's in pretty good shape too. So that was very exciting. Then I got this Fall Raven bag. This is a backpack, and I think this is like a smaller than a school size backpack, but I have a, like a tiny, I guess I have a mini, but this is a good like travel size pack. And it's pretty clean on the inside. Fall Raven. Then I got this, and I'm pretty sure this is just like you know, like their dust bag for the shoes or something, but Balenciaga, <laughs> like a nylon drawstring bag. Couldn't leave it there. And I got this little feed mini canvas bag with a crossbody strap. Some of these can go for a lot of money. Um, probably I will get 25, 30 for this, hopefully. It's really cute. And I got this. This is kind of heavy. And when I picked it up at first, I was just like, oh, this looks like a pipe. But then when I really looked at it, I was like, it can't be a pipe. And I used Google Image. And there's no, like, brand, but it does have, like, these markings all over it. And Google Image told me that this is a antique traveler's quill and inkwell scribe case so someone who was a traveling scribe used to put their quill pens in here and then their ink was in here i don't know where you stored this while you were traveling because this like you could take somebody out with this um but prices are all over the place and i've never seen something like this so i just thought that was kind of interesting Okay, so now we're going to start with the clothes. This is something you guys saw in the yesterday's video. Lovers and Friends jeans, brand new with the tag, which is super exciting. I've never seen this Lovers and Friends uh, label before. It's usually the older one, and I usually shy away from Lovers and Friends denim, but I'm not going to turn these down. And they're not skinny, so that's great. <laughs> they're like a, a straight fit. Then I got this UNIF. UNIF, I think Urban Outfitter sells this brand. It's a cropped bomber jacket. It's kind of like a military style, and it's cropped, so that's great. 
and it is a size small. Here's the brand. Here's the back. I got these one teaspoon jeans. They're the Desperados and they're black. Unfortunately, they're skinny, but maybe I will send these into ThreadUp. They are size 24, and this is how I know what the style is. That's the style of one teaspoon jeans. This is the Desperados. So, yeah, these might be going to thread up. I'm not sure. Just because they're skinny. Next, I got this Urban Outfitters Paramore hoodie. Brand new. Super cute. It is a size small and retail with $79. And I got this. This is a vintage like nightgown. I've never heard of this brand, but I got two pieces from this brand, so that's exciting. It's always exciting when there is a brand and then when they're made of nylon or partially nylon. People seem to like nylon with vintage sleepwear. So there's that. This kind of looks like bridal to me, so that's another big reason why I picked that up. I got these vintage-ish 501s. They're a button fly and they're like a military green, like a dark green color. They're size 38, 34, and they are brand new. And I got this polo sweater. This is a Olympic team sweater. This is for the Paralympic team. I'm not sure what year. It doesn't say the year, but it does have little polo logo down there and this is wool this is a size large oh wait here's the year 2022 right there let me put these on this stool so i don't have to keep bending down okay then i get these pants these are nice these are like comparable to lululemon or viore these are public rec they're just a men's like kind of like dressy athletic pant and this is the logo right there, the P. I'll show you the brand. I just listed this exact same pair of pants in this same size in a different color, like yesterday, for $75. Public rec. They are a 38-32. <clears throat> Next, I got this Patagonia Better sweater. It's got some, like, pilling, and there is a small hole right there, but... Still, couldn't leave that in the bins. It's a size large. Then I opened, so <clears throat> usually our bins is store pools or stuff that e-commerce has looked at already. And when a bag comes out in the clothing, people like kind of go crazy because it could be, you don't know what. Um, so I found a grocery bag, plastic gro grocery bag in the clothing. And I was just like, okay, let's rip it open. Usually it's like, onesies or you know something like that and I found like six or seven of these on cloud active wear shirts there's the logo on running I mean on running I think is the brand I'm not exactly sure but I know that they make those shoes that everybody likes and I have a pair of them too the cloud monsters and they're awesome but like I said I got a few of these so I got one Two, this one has like some paint on it, it looks like. <clears throat> Three, long sleeve one. Four. And these are, what size are they? I don't know what to say. Um, it's kind of like worn away, but I would say they're like a small or medium. Five. Six. So I got six of them and I've never found clothing from this brand before. So I'm very interested to see how they do. Let's see. Small. Small. And then I found this t-shirt, band t-shirt. It's always fun to find a band tee. Bob Seger. 1996, I believe. It's a mystery tour and it's on a Winterland tag and it is single stitched. Size extra large. And then for those of you who don't know, this is single stitch right there. <clears throat> so that's cool. This is another men's athletic brand that is like Lululemon, but I would almost say 
better because it's not as saturated of a market. Roan. These are a size small. Super cute. I mean, not this. This is like a crochet, silky, bow tie nightgown. I'm not really sure. Because the bottom is like really sheer and then the top is completely sheer. And there's no brand. But I liked that. I don't know. Here's another one of those Barbizon branded lingerie pieces. This is like a little robe. And it's white. <clears throat> which is good because it could be bridal. Here's a pair of Levi's. I think I'm going to try these on for myself because I've never heard of the moving on kick down jean. These were made in Hong Kong, so I'm not exactly sure how old they are, but I love the front pockets and I love this little like loopy thing right here. I don't know why, I just do. But they're a size 29.30. And then right next to these, I found these that you guys already saw yesterday, and we already determined they are also the moving on jeans. So it's the same style of, of jeans as the ones that we just saw, but I'm probably also going to try these on as well, but I don't need these. And I hope that they are expensive. I've never seen, like I said yesterday, I've never seen this uh, style of Levi's before, but usually the jean, the Levi's with the 42 talon zipper, I'll show you again. They do pretty well. So I'll have to keep you guys posted on that. And then we have one more little stack of clothing and we are done. <clears throat> this is a free people dress. I love the color on this one. It's a maxi dress. It's like a bodycon and, it, and then it like fishtails out at the bottom, I guess. It is a size large. <clears throat> this is a merino wool Beanie by Lolly, Loli, how do you say that? Right there. It's basically like in new condition, so I couldn't leave that behind. Here's some page jeans that are actually new and they are not skinny. Thank the thrift god. Look at, they are, what are they? The High Rise Bell Canyon, High Rise Flare. And they are a size 27 and they're in the transcend denim. So people, when people buy page jeans, I feel like the transcend, the transcend material sells the best. It's like stretchy, but it keeps its shape. <clears throat> Next, this is something else you guys saw yesterday. Double D Ranch. It is a gorgeous jewel tone blue velvet maxi dress. Here's the brand. It's a size small. It has like a little slit up the back. <clears throat> I usually don't pick up this brand, but I just thought this was so cute. It's a little t-shirt dress and it has this little jewel detail on like the waist. $79 originally at Express, but I don't know. We'll see how that does. I just thought it was cute. <clears throat> Next is another brand that is like very expensive, but resale is like We'll see. Emporio Armani. This is a really nice men's, like, sporty, full zip jacket. It's a size 50. And we will see how that does. These are, these are so cute. JD and Jack special occasion. I got one with the tags. It is a size 12 to 18 months. And then another one, six to eight months without the tags. So, so cute. Like little tuxedo jackets, little blazers. <laughs> oh, how I wonder how much these were originally. Let's see. $109. And we got this mod cloth maxi dress. Mod cloth, is, I like selling mod cloth. They're, the resale is not great or the retail and resale are not like astronomical, but they usually sell pretty well. Let me just tie this again so I can show you guys. Okay. So it's like smocked at the top and then it's maxi length and I think it's, yeah, it's an extra large, which is great. And then last, a heartbreaker. <laughs> so I always look for florals because 
It could be a million different great things. And then I saw this floral dress and I saw that. And then like you can see peeking out, Love Shack Fancy for Target, but still it's Love Shack Fancy. So I still got it. It's probably not worth that much at all because retail probably wasn't that high, but still. <clears throat> So that is it for this video, you guys. If you want to leave a comment below letting me know which item you think will sell for the most money, that would be cool. And if you made it this far in this video, if you could just hit like on your way out, I would really appreciate it. See you next time, friends.